To understand how a working copy of the gene is made, we need to be familiar with the structure of RNA. Unlike DNA, RNA is just a single strand of nucleotide units. In DNA, the sugar is deoxyribose. In RNA, it's ribose. As for the bases, although three are identical, adenine, guanine, and cytosine, the thymine in DNA is replaced by uracil in RNA. Uracil is very similar to thymine. It always pairs with adenine. That is, it obeys the same base pairing rules. OK, so specific base pairing has cropped up again. You've already seen how important it is in the structure of DNA and the replication of DNA. And now you'll see how vital it is in the production of messenger RNA in a process known as transcription. When transcription starts, a small section of DNA is unwound. One of the two unwound strands acts as a template for making the message. The messenger RNA is built up, one nucleotide at a time, according to the familiar base pairing rules. A on the DNA pairs with U on the RNA, G pairs with C, T pairs with A, and so on. The result? A message with a base sequence complementary to the template strand of the DNA. This messenger RNA will eventually be used to direct the formation of a protein. Thank mm -hmm. you.